So I've got a vanilla session of ZBrush opened up and you're gonna see over here, all of these buttons don't quite fit past polyframe. Uh, there's some more buttons down here, but I can't access them. Just right off the bat, right up at the top of the video, if you hold down control, you're gonna see as I switch from this part of my uh, document view, over to this strip, if I hover just over the little left edge here, you're gonna see it turns into a little arrow. Hold down control and you can move this strip over here and you can show some of these buttons down here. Now, if that's a good enough solution for you and you can just hold down control and move this around, by all means, feel free to do that. Um, however, uh, there's a, a couple more options that I'll go through. Number one is make sure you're working at a right size monitor. I'm actually working at 1920 by 1080 here. If you go into the min spec, you're gonna see you can use a monitor that's smaller, but it's just gonna, the buttons are gonna have a hard time fitting. If you go in here to preferences, interface, UI, you're gonna see there's a button size. I've taken it from the default and I've bumped it up just so I could have this problem on my monitor, but you're gonna see you can change this button size right here. So, uh, for example, I'll drop this down to like, you know, 39, let's say, and hit enter. It'll tell you, you know, you have to restart ZBrush in order for that to take effect. So I'm gonna close out of ZBrush and then relaunch it. And here you're gonna see the buttons are smaller and you can actually fit all of them on here. Of course, you can you know figure out what that magical number is to make the buttons not too small uh, for you to access them or have a hard time knowing what they are or reading them, but that's uh, one option for you. You can still hold down control and move this strip around if you'd like, but as you can see, now all of these buttons fit. Uh, just while we're talking about it, if I go back in here to preferences, let's go ahead and hit comma key to get rid of our light box here. Go back in here to preferences, interface, UI, uh, again, there's a button size. If this is too small, just bump it up and then restart ZBrush. You're also gonna see here wide buttons uh, is turned on. You can turn that off. Anything you do in here that you uh, change, you probably wanna go in here to config and store config uh, for those things to take effect. If you wanna know more or go in depth about making your own custom menus and custom UI, you can go down here to video number 42 on the intro to ZBrush on my channel and that'll take you through that. Speaking of, you can, uh, if you're not gonna use a lot of these buttons, and in fact, let's say, you know what, these buttons are just too small. So I'm gonna go back in here to my preferences, button size, I'll make this like 46 and restart ZBrush. And where that wide button comes into play, if I double click over here on the left divider, you're gonna see, uh, here we have our brush palette, then over here we have our tool palette. If I go back here into preferences and then I turn off, turn on wide buttons, you're gonna see, I can't fit as many of those uh, brushes in there because they're wider buttons. So that's all that did. And again, turn that off and then go to config, store config, and that'll keep that off for you. So now under preferences UI, uh, button size 46 seems to fit these perfectly uh, all the way down to the expose button and you're good to go. However, uh, speaking again of your ability to make your own custom UI. Let's go in here to config. And in fact, I'm gonna take this preferences, grab this white dot and drag it over here to the right. And we're gonna say uh, enable customize. Now with that checked on, we can hold down control alt and drag these buttons off. So for example, I don't need quick access to all this. When I'm moving around uh, my object, I just use the navigation, which of course you can find again in this intro to ZBrush. It'll tell you how to navigate. Uh, and all of your document stuff in here. You can do that with hotkeys. So anything you're not gonna do all the time, just hold down control alt and say, I don't need scroll, I don't need zoom, actual half, I already know the hotkeys for those. Frame, if you hover over this, frame is just F on your keyboard. So hey, we can we know that. Uh, I don't need to do any of this stuff. So uh, we're good to go. You know, even perspective P is uh, P, but sometimes I like to have something on here just to indicate that it's on or not. So I'll just leave it over here uh, just so I can see it. I uh, same thing with polyframe, it's shift F, but you know, you can leave those buttons in there if you use them a lot. So now that I've removed some of these camera stuff, like this camera over here is gonna be underneath draw. There's that camera button right there. There's that little camera lock. You see if I hover over it, it just shows both of those. So they're in the exact same space. Underneath transform is where a lot of these things are. So here's your X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z, which is right here. So I know where those are and I don't really use them that much. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all those out of here. So now that I've cleaned this out a little bit, I can hold down Control Alt and now, instead of dragging this off, I'm gonna move it up. So I'm just gonna kind of Control Alt and drag these up here. And again, expose, that's under the transform menu. I don't expose a lot of things, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that off. And now I've narrowed this down. Again, I can still hold down control and move this around if I'd like, but now I have a lot of space over here. If I wanted to, you know, let's go ahead and drag out. Let's uh, go down here to our tool and grab a cylinder, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode. 
Uh, so now I have the av availability to go in here to brushes. So if I, there's a brush in here I use a lot, like maybe I use a planer brush a lot, I'll go ahead and select it. And maybe I use uh, displace a lot, and maybe I use, I don't know, whatever you want to put in here. And then now I can go in here, and if I want quick access to those brushes, I can hold down Control-Alt. And now, because I don't have wide buttons on, I have nice square buttons from our preferences, I can just drag those over here. If you want a little spacer, just drag it down uh, a little bit. And you can just, again, just kind of move these around. Uh, we can make, again, put our displace brush over here, uh, this one over here. So now I have quick access to these brushes. Or if you want to go back into Transform and be like, actually, you know what? I do use that Expose a lot. Just go find where that Expose is, hold down Control-Alt, and just drag a copy of that back in here. Again, maybe we'll move it down so it's not competing with those brushes. And uh, now this is a little bit more useful to us. When we're done uh, customizing, we'll go back in here and we'll turn off Enable Customize so we're good to go. Go in here to Preferences, again, Config, Store Config, and now we have our buttons the right size. We've turned wide buttons off so we can drag our palette things over here and put them in our uh, stack. Again, you can hold down control and move this around. We can go ahead and uh, take this preferences menu and turn that off. Uh, and in fact, I'll do go ahead and do another preferences store config. So now whenever I open up ZBrush, this left dock will be open with brush turned on. Actually, I probably don't need transform in there. Turn that off. Preferences store config one more time. So every time I open up ZBrush, I'm going to have this over here on the left, all my buttons are going to be the size I want. This strip is now more functional to me. I've got my tool palette open on here, and I'm good to go.